Hello Aries, it's Milady, and this is Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly. Oh, my stuff fell over. <laughs> weekly Express love reading for the week of hmm, April 24th, 2023. April 24th through goodness. It's just in this week I'm doing it. So April 24th, maybe May 1st. I don't know. I got to figure it out. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, May 1st. Sorry. I'm prepared. Just like in school. All right. The cards I'm using today, I found the Oracle cards. So Daryl, uh, <laughs> Dela knew it. De La Nuit Oracle cards. And then I'm going to use the Tarot De La Nuit. So I almost said this. But I love these cards so much that I, I went and found the uh, Oracle cards. So that's why I'm like so all over the place, even though I'm already all over the place. Um, but yeah, so let's let's get this show in a row because I'm ready to play with these cards. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Aries? A lot of energy already. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, what we got here? All right, so we got the Sleeping Beauty card. So I do feel like... Um, I'm, these are new, so I really don't know them a lot, but I'm going to just go off whatever energy I feel. But I feel like um, this is somebody who is taking a risk after um, a long, exhausting uh, situation. Um, I feel like somebody's taking a break in between relationships, okay? That's what I'm feeling from this. All right, card number five. I do feel like somebody may be on some other stuff, too, so... Just be prepared of somebody coming in trying to take advantage of that, okay? So here we got card number 20. So we got Puss in Boots. <laughs> so with this card, this makes me feel like somebody may try to uh, take advantage of you, but it's not going to be as easy as they think. I do feel like when they come try to do the advantage thing, I do feel like you're going to put them in a spot. So this is giving me Queen of Swords energy here, okay? But it's just like, it's not happening, okay? You're not going to just take advantage of me that easily. Somebody's trying to take a, a rest, and I do feel like predators feel like they see they prey, but not so much. Okay. All right. What well, we got here? All right. So we got the blue fairy. So I really don't know much about this card, but this makes me feel like um, somebody just praying for some kind of answers. Okay, when you look at her, she just looked like she's looking for some kind of answers. She's looking for some kind of help. And I do feel like wait, trying to get this these answers and this help, um, I do feel like it's going to work. So this makes me feel a little bit like somebody may be uh, going to counseling or just like talking to people that are close to them to try to help them get over this um person this relationship okay so somebody is definitely trying to get over a previous person um but of course we got people who don't care and see think they see some prey and they're gonna come in there and try to take advantage okay all right we got a flyer let's see what this is all right so we got the snow white here so with this card this makes me feel like I'm feeling a little bit like I feel like I'm in autopilot. I feel like I'm in autopilot. I feel like after, you know, I can't feel. <laughs> That's the feeling I'm getting. I feel like I'm in autopilot after this relationship. I feel like people keep trying to come after me, but I feel like I cannot feel. I feel like I just feel like it's just all kinds of crazy people coming at me. And I feel like I just don't want to deal with nothing or nobody. So it's like, even though somebody is trying to heal, 
I feel like I'm I'm attacking people who come after me or come toward me as well, okay? Mm. So it's gonna be more about feelings until I know this deck. <laughs> but I mean, once I know it, it's gonna just incorporate. It's all gonna come into one big feeling. All right, let's keep going. All right, so, well, who is this? Okay, so we got the Donkey King. So this card, um, I did look at this one a little bit, but this makes me feel like somebody is not doing things or being around people who are deserving of them, okay? Um, I this, These people don't deserve you. I do feel like you deserve more. But I feel like you're not willing to go out there and get that right now. And this could just be because you're trying to heal from um, a situation that you just recently got out of, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, running away. And I do feel like with this running away, you're not running away just from bad things. You're running away from things that is going to take you to another level as well, okay? People. Relationships. But if you're healing, you're healing. All right, but let's see. Vasilia, I think that say Vasilia. Vasilia the Beautiful. All right, so with this card, this makes me feel like, dang, I do feel like you got a lot of people after you with this one, okay? Um, I do feel like for some of you coming out of this feeling of being isolated, stuck by yourself, but I also feel like you still got more to go when it comes to people who aren't treating you right, okay? So it's like somebody is isolating themselves from people. I do feel like you got people that are there for you and people that you're not, that's not there for you, of course. Um, but this makes me feel like somebody needs more help from the people that are around them, okay? That do love them, that you know love you. Um, because I do feel like somebody may be trying to do this all alone, but I feel like you need people. You need somebody. You need people. People you can trust with you. Okay? So this is like usually people go by themselves and try to heal from a situation, heal what's, from what's going on with them. Um, but in this case, you can't do that. You're going to need some help. Okay? So that's that energy that I was getting from the beginning. Somebody may need some counseling after this. So it looked like somebody did some real horrible stuff to the point where somebody is broken a lot okay all right what we got here so we got card number 28 dorothy gale all right so what this card reminds me of oh wow so with this card i'm feeling like you know <sighs> Somebody is trying to heal from that previous... Somebody is still going through that loss of that previous person. The separation from that person. And I do feel like, you know, this is what somebody has to... Um, try to get over. Okay? This is very hard for somebody. This is not easy. And I do feel like this is why people keep getting snapped on when they come around you okay i do feel like it's a lot but somebody is not over the previous person um i do feel like of course there's people for you trying to come in or for this person trying to come in um and it, it, with this dorothy car also i feel like somebody is not thinking about just the bad stuff that happened in the the previous relationship somebody thinking about all the good things and that is what's holding them back okay holding you back holding this person back from leaving and then we got this you know somebody needs to be realized or needs to realize or think about what happened so it's like when we break up with somebody all we think about is the good times all you need is to talk to one of those people that you used to talk to when y'all was going through stuff and they can remind you of what really happened because it's crazy how we distort things when we really don't want to be over stuff and I do feel like you got those people in your life, those friends in your life that's going to help you um, look for, look at what happened in this previous relationship for what it was, okay? So this is like somebody may need counseling, but also somebody need to talk to their friends and family about, about the whole relationship and what they seen 
And I do feel like somebody is going to be able to move away from this situation easier. Okay. But then we got the donkey skin. So this donkey skin right here, I feel like somebody does not want to look like um, uh, just a bad person, look stupid, look like something was wrong with them. And I do feel like that's another reason why somebody is trying to stay in this situation or not letting go completely. But of course, you talk to people and they let you know sometimes it's better to be apart. I know in many places that separation and too many people and divorce is frowned upon but like do these people care about your happiness at the end of the day you want me to be happy or you want me to be married to somebody who uh cussed me out every day and put their hands on me? okay gotta choose all right last one with this deck all right what we got here i can't read that uh princess in the p hmm what i'm getting from this car is i feel like somebody may have taken something okay i feel like something is supposed to be there i feel like somebody has taken something and in this case i feel like it's uh feelings wise and i feel like somebody is after um i feel like i want them feelings back i want something back and i do feel like that's why somebody's angry and i do feel like that's why somebody is reaching for some stuff that is not there, okay? Somebody reaching for a past that wasn't there. So it looked like somebody may be trying to go come back to you. You might be trying to go back to somebody. Oh, goodness, I messed these cards up already. Um, but I do feel like some kind of separate, somebody was separated and they trying to come back now. Retrograde. All right. So we got Cinderella here at the bottom. So this makes me feel like of course there's a lot of things going on right now there's going to be a lot of things holding you back but i do feel like if you just keep working for it and try hard whatever you're trying to get whatever you're working for is going to happen okay and this also was a story of destiny too i do feel like if it's supposed to happen for you look at my little puppy hair right there uh, yep, still there whatever um but if things are supposed to happen for you they will happen for you okay so just trust the process all right so let's get to my Tarot de la Nua cards. I'm gonna pull three cards from this. Let's see what's going on with the Aries. What's going on with the Aries? Aries, uh oh, Aries, Aries. What's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right, bottom of the deck, hold on. These cards are not supposed to be all kinds of every ways. All right. But they all, they all over the place. So I'm going to have to fix those later. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Cups reverse. So I do feel like somebody had a lot of things to choose from. And I do feel like somebody is making that choice of what they want to choose. Okay. Mm. Figuring out to make a choice move forward. All right. So we have the four of wands reversed here so i do feel like somebody is realizing that this relationship the previous relationship was unstable and i do feel like i'm starting to walk away from this i'm gonna walk away from this all right so we got the hermit card reversed here so somebody was isolating themselves from the world from people somebody's coming out of that isolation i'm done hiding from the world have from people have from relationships somebody's getting ready to start fighting through what they are going through okay so we got the king of swords here so i do feel like somebody's getting ready to analyze the situation i feel like this is going to be a from now on energy um i'm going to be analyzing the situation and i'm only going to move forward with things that work better for me okay so somebody's about to be a little more selfish but i feel like this is just that protection um, that somebody's going to be going through until things start going the way that they want them to go, okay? So, I got the four swords here. So, with this four swords reverse, I do feel like somebody's trying to recover more of themselves. Um, and I do feel like somebody is just thinking a lot about what they did and what they can do and how they're going to move forward from now, okay? And I do feel like there's going to be success there, but I do feel like there's going to be a lot of pain on the way, okay? So, healing 
healing is pain. You, you, you see the pain while you're healing. So somebody's gonna come in your life and help you not just look at the good parts of the past, but the reasons why that past is no more, okay? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.